Popcorn grains dating back nearly 5,600 years have been discovered in caves in New Mexico. And down through the ages, this unique grain just keeps popping up. Nothing says it's showtime like a big bowl of popcorn. This grain has certainly made it big in the entertainment biz. This success story has its roots on the farm, of course. Popcorn is one of six types of corn, and it's the only kind that pops. They even breed the popcorn plant to enhance traits like color, taste, and popability. By fall, the crop is ready to harvest. Peeling back the husks reveals kernels that are smaller and harder than those of other corn. At harvesting, popcorn has moisture content of 16 to 20 percent. That's a bit too high, so to bring it down to 14 percent, they condition the crop in these giant bins, pumping warm air up through it to accelerate the drying. It's a critical step. Popcorn that's too dry may not pop, and if it's too wet, it could spoil when stored. In the factory, a series of oscillating screens sift chunks of cob and broken kernels out of the popcorn. Vacuum pipes pull the finer impurities to a dust collector and suck the larger impurities into a chute. They end up in a waste bin to be discarded or used in animal feed. At this junction, the system funnels the filtered popcorn in one direction and the impurities in another. It's the perfect opportunity to see the difference between the two streams. The purification process continues at the gravity table. Its vibrating action, along with powerful fans, cause the popcorn to rise and float on air. In the process, kernels that are too heavy or too light gravitate away from the center and are shunted aside. The grains in the middle of the mass are the optimal size, but leaving nothing to chance, they go through one more screening. The kernels now head into a very different kind of sorter. Inside, the kernels fly by an electric eye. It detects remaining debris or defective grains. The machine sends a blast of air to get rid of them. It's time to test a sample of the production run. He pours in a half pound of kernels along with some oil. As the pot reaches 446 degrees Fahrenheit, the water in the kernels starts to steam. As the pressure builds, those kernels explode and turn inside out. This reveals the starchy part of the kernel and creates a white fluffy puff. To pass this test, the popcorn has to expand 44 and a half times the original volume. The tester loads the pop puffs into a tube with measurements on it and this batch of popcorn is right on the mark. As you can see, a little bit of popcorn can really go a long way. From a pea-sized kernel to a puffy white treat in a matter of minutes.